Hi, I'm Phil Newsom, the Secretary General of ESOL, and it gives me great pleasure today to talk about the upcoming International Liver Congress and some really exciting new data that will be presented in the first general session that will be co-chaired by myself and Professor Maria Rage. The opening ceremony in particular will feature a presentation from one of the key patient groups, so Martine Wormsley, who is Chair of Trustees at PSC Support, will talk. And also given that 2020 is the year of the nurse, the head of the Easel Nurse Task Force will provide an update on the work we are doing together. Moving on to general session one, you'll be able to hear the latest international groundbreaking research across a whole range of liver diseases. So there's a lot of really exciting data coming up in general session one. And there were four highlights which I'd like to pick out uh, to discuss. Uh, one is by Tanaka and colleagues who will be presenting data on the impact of beta fibrate as an add-on therapy in the treatment of patients with primary biliary cholangitis in Japan and presenting really key data on the long-term impact of this treatment. Another really interesting study is by Lang and colleagues who will be presenting data from multiple international cohorts of patients with alcoholic hepatitis and the impact of virulence related genes on the gut flora. And it's now increasingly clear that certain genes have a major impact on mortality in this group of patients. And for those of you involved in the care of patients awaiting liver transplant, there's a large data set being presented by Goodsmith and colleagues who are presenting data from more than 5,000 patients who are being assessed for liver transplant in Europe and looking at the utility of MELD sodium score as a predictor of waiting list mortality. For those of you with an interest in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, there are some interesting new data being presented by Aspinall and colleagues, which is looking at a new non-bile acid FXR agonist, Nidufexor, in patients with NASH. NASH clearly remains a challenging disease area to treat, and therefore it's exciting to see new data being presented on this topic. So to wrap up, these are only just some of the really exciting abstracts being presented in the general session one. So look forward to seeing you at the general session.